me and today we're gonna be checking out some heartwarming moments that may have restored just a little bit of faith in humanity. So this guy was giving random people flowers just so he could see them smile. So it's this girl's birthday and she's about to get the best present of her life. So her parents are surprising her by telling her they're going to adopt her and her brother and her sister. I'm going to be adopted? Aww. So they actually spent years in foster care and they're finally getting adopted and she gets to stay with her siblings. Like they're adopting the whole family. They even got matching PJs. Top 10 biggest fears. Like, you know that little gap that you're usually scared of dropping your keys or your phone? This dude dropped his leg and got stuck. And so all of these people came out to push the train and help him get his foot out. After the first quarter of an NBA game, one of the cheerleader's husbands decided to surprise her. She had no idea he was even in the country. And on TV, he was just gonna surprise her like... Aww. The house of an eight-year-old boy was destroyed in a fire. But when he went to school, all of his classmates surprised him with a ton of gifts. Aw, and hugs. What a surprise. That's cute. That everybody just like pitched in and like helped him out. So this Amazon delivery driver saw that they left snacks and drinks. Like, if you're a delivery driver, take one. Do my little dancey dance on the way out. I tried doing this and nobody takes anything. The fishies, they don't bite. I had good stuff in there. I had pink Starburst. I had Skittles. I had Cheez-Its. And it kind of just sat there for months. Y'all don't trust me? Y'all don't want my snacks? This guy was going for a walk. Saw somebody hanging from the building off of the balcony. And you know what he does? I ain't never done parkour. I ain't never climbed anything in my life. And then just climbed up this building. How many floors? He climbed all the way up four or five stories to save the kid. Crazy. Meanwhile, the cameraman chilling down below like, don't worry, I got you. Your best angle. Don't even worry about it. You're gonna be a big hero. So this baby horse got its snoot stuck in a bridge. And then the mom was just chilling there like, Hey yo, you gonna get up or not? Nah? And the baby's like, mother, I'm stuck like a duck with no luck. Please help. <laughs> and he tried to get out and he was still stuck. So this guy came and helped the little horsey. It's crazy how the mom knew that he was actually helping and not like, hey, I'm a statue child. Raise him to be a racehorse. Then sell him for profits. Nah, he helped and like the mom is like, all right, thank you, sir. And nay, and you be on with your day? So this man is gonna tell his wife's daughter that he wants to be her father. All of our family and friends is the day I get to adopt you. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. So they were at the lake and found a car. The car was drowning. It fell in the water and there was somebody trapped inside. And he jumped in the water. <gasps> a woman and her dog. And he just like pulled them out, rescued them just like that. That's incredible. Your booty out the bed. I'd like to wish you a happy Friday. You're kidding me. No, no joke. It's just a random act of kindness. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. What can I do for you? Nothing at all, just smile. I think, I think happiness is contagious. It is. She really asked, what can I do for you though? I mean, you gave me the flowers, like, can I take you out? Or some? So this woman went into a pawn shop with her kids to sell her ring that was really special to her because she needed money for rent. And what happens is completely unexpected. He was like, why do you want to sell it? She's like, I'm totally broke and I won't get paid until next month. So he gives her the money for the necklace and then also gives her her ring. So this old man with a cane was trying to cross the road and even though it was a green light, a biker came to escort him and made sure that no other cars went until he made it safely across. Gotta look out for the homies, even if they're not even homies. I think if the biker wasn't there, these cars might have just like, Doosh. like look at them, they ain't stop for no one. This colorblind student was surprised by his teacher by these special glasses that allow him to see color for the very first time. I remember when one of the Paul brothers made one of these videos. I didn't watch it though, but like, it actually works. Oh, and he starts tearing up. He's like, yeah, I saw the world in color. <laughs> it was very sad. This is a key. It goes under my welcome mat in a very obvious place. Alex, why would you do that? Isn't somebody going to break into your house? Well, actually, there are a lot of break-ins in this area, and every six months to a year, I'll notice that the key's missing, which means people are trying. So this is 
actually genius. The reason he keeps a key under his doormat, which by the way, isn't even the right key to his house. So that when a potential robber peeks under the doormat and is like, oh, wow, we had done hit the jackpot. Snatches the key and tries to open the door and is like, wait, pull up, why is it not working? And hopes that maybe they'll think about it like, bro, what am I doing? I could be making a TikTok right now. I could be hugging my mother, but no, I'm trying to break into this dude's house. And maybe he'll think like, hey, it's not worth it. I need to get my life together or something. I mean, this smells like chaotic good. Like he want to get the robber's hopes up, only to disappoint them. Next time y'all wanna litter, think again. Somebody threw a whole entire cheese ball box in the lake and this bear's head got stuck. But luckily this dude helped out the bear, just pulled it off. Nobody was even mauled. And he was like, oh, I can see clearly now that the rain is gone. Or you know, maybe he swam right into it. Dang, this smells good. I think I'll just live here. So this lady had cancer and because of chemotherapy, her hair was falling out and her mom was helping her shave it off. And to show her support, her mom starts shaving her head too. And then she starts crying. Like she's so supportive. Like she's supporting her daughter. And I thought that was really sweet. Can we have a cash check? That'd be wonderful. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Oh my God, thank you. You understand. I almost lost my house. So this is like, just made my day. I really did. Thank you. I, oh my God. Yes, thank you very much. That means a lot. She gave me a thousand dollar tip. Just like, hey yo, can I leave a cash tip? Like I was expecting a 20 or something. She's like, here's a thousand dollars. Bringing out the Mr. Beast bucks I see. This delivery driver was going to deliver a package and saw another package was already delivered, but it was like out in the open. So if you're like walking down the street, you can clearly see that package on the doorstep. And you know, some people, they might just want to snatch it. So he went and hid it behind the pillar. Very thoughtful. I was at Starbucks when this lady pulled up in her animal service truck and then she went inside to get her drink and then wait Not only did she get her drink, she came out with two pup cups for the dogs in the back Aww These dogs are scared and have had their lives turned upside down but at least they know that they are safe and loved and they get a pup cup so caught on this biker's cam, this man trips on the sidewalk, falls. That woman just walked by like, ugh, I don't want nothing to do with this. Blue backpack actually ran. And then everybody else was like helping him up. No, that, that was nice. That was nice to see. People helping others. After shaving his mom's hair to show his support, he also shaved his hair. And then she started crying, starts hugging him. Yo, don't make me tear up. I'm not crying, you are. When you're going through something rough, like the best thing you can have is just somebody that will be there with you and support you through all of it, whether it's your friend, your family, your partner. Like, y'all need to know that you're not alone. Whatever you're going through, like, there are people that love you and will help you get through it. This woman's truck got stuck in a ditch and look at all these people that came out to help pull her truck out. Where's that all wheel drive when you need it? That's a lot of people. Oh, they got it. Nice. I had seen this guy earlier today, so I decided to come back by. Oh mm -hmm. man, I appreciate it. Why do you want to go to Alabama? I'm trying to get home to Mobile to my family for Christmas. You want to go back to Alabama? <laughs> I want to go right back to Alabama. What's your name? My name's Doug Phelps. Doug, I can't give you any money, but I'll buy you a bus ticket if you want. Yeah, that's five dollars back, and I, I'm telling you, you tell me you're gonna get me a bus ride home, and I'm telling I'll, I'll get on my hands and knees. Hey, that's all right. Do you want to go home? I want to go home. Let's go, brother. Let's go. Let's go. Are you serious? Yeah, let's go. What? 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 Oh man, this was so nice. So my guy got him McDonald's and took him back to Alabama so he could see his family. Good guy. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and the and make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.